Oh, hello there. My name is Moomin Littlesocks, and Nerd Chacho asked me to roast him and rip his park to pieces. Uh, Oh, that's not what he asked. Huh. I have to be nice about it. Okay, fine. Since the very first episode of the series, it was clear that this park was going to top all of the previous. As you know, this park was to be an example of what would happen if Cedar Fair opened a park in the UK. And from the wide open ticket plaza to the beautifully tiled main street of episode 1, it was already ticking all the boxes. It wouldn't be a Chacho Park without an obscene amount of detail, 80% of which is made up of TMTK, let's be honest. One thing that makes Nerd Chacho stand out amongst the rest is his buildings. Not only do they look stunning from the outside, but the level of detail inside is mind-blowing. From the kitchen appliances to the office phones, he truly kits out every single inch of his interiors and is easily some of the best detail work I've ever seen in the game. And still, his attention to detail doesn't end there. He even creates his own brands, such as Berg's and Eat It, giving even more life to his parks. Speaking of branding, taking a trip down to the incredible kids' zone Nerdoland, you'll find the wonderful Professor Plomplepop's coaster. That's right, he invented a whole character to name his coaster after. Another of Nerd Chacho's skills lies in immersion. Each section of the park feels unique and you truly get lost in the worlds he's created. With the cartoon walls and paint splats of Nerdoland, to the jungle adventure that is the Intamin Rapids. Speaking of the rapids, I actually caught this one during the premiere, something that I recommend you all try to do if you can. It's great to watch the episode live with other like-minded people and Nerd Chacho himself. One of my favourite coasters in the park is Pendle Peak, the Gerslauer Eurofighter. It's perfectly sunken into the ground with the looming Tudor builds giving it a super cosy feel, yet another area that allows for complete immersion. In episode 8 we were introduced to the park's log flume. As I was watching the video I was thinking to myself, wow, this is exactly how I would do a log flume. Cheap western facades with a few simple props to really sell a scene with a small budget. And then he said that the very scene I was looking at was inspired by my own builds. Took a while for my ego to readjust after that, let me tell you. Speaking of influence, I'm a huge fan of Chacho's dark rides, and take a lot of inspiration from the way he executes his, using the city brick walls for the show building, and adding lighting gantries are just two examples of bits I've borrowed from the man himself. His pirate themed boat ride is yet another example of a perfectly executed dark ride. Simple but effective, and the added water treatment facilities is always an easy way to my heart. Anyone who watches my content will know I'm a sucker for backstage clutter, and Nerd Chacho doesn't do back of house by halves. From electrical cabling and CCTV, to fully kitted out warehouses, to water and propane tanks, there's not a single detail left out. Anyway, before I start gushing too much, I should wrap up. Chacholandia is easily one of the best parks ever made in Planet Coaster, no question. Before I go, there's a certain coaster I haven't mentioned, and that's because I thought I'd save my favourite till the end. Sentinel is not only a flawlessly created coaster, it's beautifully themed, immersive and has stunning guest interaction over the plaza. It's by far my favourite coaster, and I hope you'll take my tiny hand as we hop on for a ride. I have to just say we are so privileged to have Nerd Chacho as a content creator, someone who is not only insanely talented at Planet Coaster, but also has the real world knowledge to go along with it. You are a gift to this community and keep doing what you're doing. Ok, I'm off, enjoy the POV. Hey you lot, I'm really sorry to interrupt this little love-in, but did you really think you were going to go an entire video without hearing my voice? <laughs> no, not going to happen. But Moomin, thank you so much for those kind words. I didn't even pay you to say any of that. Now, where can we find you? You can find me at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Moomin Little Socks. And you'll find all of my other social links in the description of every video. Thanks Moomin. Guys, please go and check him out if you haven't done already. Moomin is awesome. And just before we get into this POV, let me just quickly double check something with you. Moomin, did you struggle to say anything? Speaking of branding, taking a trip down to the incredible kids zone Nerdoland, you'll find the wonderful Professor P- <laughs> You'll find the wonderful Professor Popple- <sighs> You'll find the wonderful Professor Pompleplops coaster. Pomp- <laughs> We'll get there. You'll find the wonderful Pro- You'll find the wonderful Professor Pumplepops clo- You'll find the pro You'll find the wonderful Professor Plumplepops coaster. <laughs> Don't worry buddy, you're not the only one, remember this. So we've got Professor Plop- Oh, Professor Plopple- <laughs> Professor Plumplepops coaster. <laughs> Why did I choose such a name that's so hard to pronounce? Thanks everybody, see you soon, enjoy the ride.